I might go live twice tonight simply because I got a lot to talk about. I have a lot that I've been meaning to come on live with y'all with. I have not been able to do that. I've been missing days of coming on here. Peace in divine, glorious energy to all of all of you who are watching. You know, it's been it's been uh what's going on black dark waters it's been about a week no it's not been a week it's been a couple days maybe maybe a couple days since i've been on with you my last live but i would say about five days this is my last live and i really want to come on here so everybody thank you i have now changed up the title and what it is that I do. I know that I am naturally and unexplicably, I know that I am a healer off the top. Like I heal through food, I heal through communication, I heal through my nature uh, experiences I heal through so many modalities that healing um, is just basically how I portaled in I portaled in a healer I healed through so many things that I help people uh, channel and portal uh, into this dimension of, of reality of life so I help people portal and channel into this dimension this reality of healing and you know that I teach healing through the five laws of holistics and I will always preach the five laws to the day that I die. The five laws of holistics, you should know them. If you don't know them, check my highlights and you'll see all the you'll see all five of the, the laws of holistics right there that explains each and every one of them. If you're curious about what are the five laws of holistics, go into my highlights and look them up. You can see them. Uh, but I am changing the title. The, the title... Uh, the introductory title of who I am and what I do. Yeah, I'm a healer once again, but more so, I like to see, I like to create this new, this new niche, niche. I've created this new niche. I've created this new genre of teachers. I've created this new genre of teachers. And I am calling it I'm, I created the new genre of teachers and I am calling it the conscious crusaders. These are people, conscious crusaders are people who are, I can, t I can give you a few names of some conscious crusaders. They may not have had this working title, but I can give you a few names of some conscious creators. Uh, David Icke is a conscious creator. If you don't know who David Icke, conscious creator. A conscious crusader. If you don't know who David Icke is, look him up. Um, Alan, um, what's his name? The guy who did do uh, Infowars. The guy of Infowars. I'm losing his name right now. Um, something, Alan, Alan, something, I forget. He's a conscious crusader. Okay? Dedicates his life to pushing out content. Waking you up. I would recommend that you go follow this other sister on Instagram who I follow all the time. She is also a conscious crusader. She is, her name is Zaza Ali. Some of you may know, Ale, not Alan Watts. No, I know Alan Watts. Um, Alex Jones. Alex Jones. Alex Jones is the guy. Alan Watts is a Zen master. He's not a conscious crusader. He's a Zen master. Uh, 
Alex Jones of Emperor Wars is a conscious crusader. Uh, Zaza Ali is a conscious crusader. You may look at these people like whistleblowers, but they're not blowing no whistle of uh, because they don't work for the government. They're not blowing whistles because they don't work for the government. So, I'm here to tell you that I am creating this new genre of teachers. And these teachers are called conscious crusaders. We crusade our lives away to waking up the masses, waking up the sleeping, waking up. And it is our jobs as conscious crusaders who come into this realm, portaled in, channeled into this dimension right here, right now. And to this time, because this is a new dimension, we're in a new world right now. We are in a new world right now. If you don't think so and you don't know it, beloved, the New World Order agenda has been here and will always be here and will continue to push itself on us and our children and it will continue to blind us in ways that we are being sleep to. We just don't want to wake up. So, today's message is education and religion are cult traps. The only reason I put education and religion in there, which I've been, I had been created this uh, topic. I had been created this topic right here. Um, but the only reason I only put education and religion in that is because I could not fit all seven of the cult traps coat traps inside of this little flyer so I decided to have them written down for the day that I would do the video on this topic and so I created well I didn't create it they created but I'm just here to list for you show you the seven the seven pillars the seven pillars of cult traps okay education and religion is the main two that I focus I'm focusing on but I'm going to name the others for you I'm going to name the others for you okay so let's dig into this topic thank you for joining truth tellers yeah I see Nekwa Jackson of building. Appreciate you, God. Enlighten. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. Let me get off this sharing the screen. And let's go. Okay. So, like I told you, I may go live because it's early. You know I start lives at like 11, 11.30. I may go live two times tonight. I don't think I'm going to go over to Facebook. I haven't really been messing with Facebook a lot lately with the lives it's just because the audience <laughs> big gap in gen demographic audiences over there so I come to Instagram and uh, this is where a lot of people are getting the content because Instagram actually moves faster than Facebook Instagram moves a lot faster as far as like the, the feed the time feed the feed in the time on the timeline moves a lot faster on, on here than it does on Facebook so Facebook is moving slow and it's for slow moving people. All right. <laughs> we are living in a time where we got to be fast and we got to be thinking fast. We got to move fast. We got to act fast. We got to do everything fast. So today I, can't, I, can't, I came with the title. Today we have what we call conscious crusaders. People who are dedicating or living their life in a time like this. See. And, and you, what they say, desperate times calls for desperate measures. And in desperate times, you got to evolve in order for a desperate measure to take place. So for the desperate measure, you have to evolve. You cannot be complacent in your old thinking, in your old mind. And you cannot be complacent in old ways in order for a desperate measure to take place. And so for desperate times comes desperate measures. And so you got to evolve. To take on a new desperate measure because these are desperate times right now. Because if you do not know, California just passed 
the um, California and New York just passed the uh, COVID-19, the vaccine passport. California just passed the COVID, the vaccine passport bill. You understand? And the bill has a lot of things in it. I kind of went ran through it and read a little bit of it. And it has a lot of, you cannot go, only place basically you can go to without proving that you've been vaccinated. The only place you can go to is church. Church and the grocery store. And that's why today's topic is key and important. Education and religion are cult traps. Education and religion are cult traps. Okay? Hola. Hola, Patricia. Education and religion are cult traps. Now, let me name the seven cult traps for you. I call them cult traps. Let me name the seven cult traps. Okay, here we go. Number one is religion. We know religion was the very first thing that they used on African people over in Africa. Educate, religion was the very first thing that came in to take away. Because when you bring people up a, a, a religion and you take away their spiritual practices, their spiritual beliefs, when you take away their spiritual ideals and uh, of who they are who they believe they are when you take that away and you implement you you search th that with a religion something that's already not even real but you usurp that with something you, you know what i'm saying fake and you get them to preach it and practice it you have con you have gained control of the mind and so what happens is what happens is just like in the movie the matrix you got the agents that you know, anytime you could be having a conversation with somebody, you could be having a conversation with somebody, regular normal conversation about sports. You being woke, them being sleep, right? And the moment you mention, you know, nature is the way to heal, nature is our way, eating natural is the way to go, and they start looking at you crazy. They are the agents of the matrix. They're the ones working for the matrix. They don't even know it. But they're the Agent Smiths. They are the Agent Smiths of the Matrix. You understand what I'm saying? So they don't even understand that under the control of the master, the 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 aid under the control of their master of the Matrix. You understand those who inserted their minds with the the, the doctrine or the religion or the theology that they're believing. You understand? They don't even know that they're operating. They're op. They don't even know that they are ops. They're operating under the guise, they don't even understand it, but they're working, but they are working for their government or they're working for their master. And, and they're the ones who run this system. They're the ones who run it. They're the ones who control it because it's theirs. They got it by theft. They got it by theft. So let's make that known, number one. They got it by theft. Okay? And so... Religion is the first one that they use to control. It's about your beliefs. This is why I tell you all, through the five laws of holistics, the first one is meditation. If you practice meditation, you gain your spirituality. You gain your spiritual belief practices through meditation. So it's through meditation do you gain an understanding, an ideal, and a sense of who you are. And when you have that idea and that sense and understanding, you operate out of that. And that becomes your belief. Because you have, oper because you have through meditation, gained an idea of who you are. And so now that you know that, you operate from that. That's your spiritual beliefs. That's how you move in the spirit. You understand? And so religion had came in, stolen the minds of people when they went into Africa with the missionaries and told them about Jesus and all of this other mess and African people got that stuff. And what happened was they lost the sense of themselves. Nature was their religion. 
nature was the religion that they believed. This is why you see in the Ifa, when you see in um, the Orishas, you see the the Orishas of Nigeria, you know, the Yoruba, the Yoruba people, it's natural elements. These are natural, the, the, their, their gods are the natural elements, the Oshun, the, 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 the uh, uh, Shangos, you understand, Ogun. The, these people are gods of the wind, gods of the water, god of the the sun, god of the fire, god of the earth, god of the the metal. You understand natural elements of the planet, and so we had our gods. Even though we didn't place our god in people, we placed our god in nature, in the elements. You understand because these elements are energies. So, not to drag that out. Let me keep going. Hey there, hey there. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me do something because I'm preaching tonight. Y'all know it. Y'all know it, y'all know it. Hold on. Wait a second. Yeah, just go ahead and hit that cash out. You dig? <laughs> I'm teaching tonight, though. Anyway, I'm going to be sweating because I got this hot-ass sweater on today. But um, anyway, so religion is a cult trap. Now, we're going to name. Let me run through these seven real quick and not expound because I want to really expound on religion and education. I want to really expound on religion and education. For those of you who missed the, 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 what we're talking about, let me show you the topic. I may go live again tonight. I, I, I promise you, I'm, I may back this thing back up. And education and religion are cult traps. And so, the, se the, the, the seven cult traps that we know of, I'm going to just run, them, run down them and I'm going to expound on. I'm going to run down these and I'm going to expound on religion and education since that's our topic. Um, one is religion You know what I'm saying The attack of our beliefs Second is The laws I mean second is government How they implement their laws And agendas Third is economics How they control Your movements Because they, you believe You need money to do anything the fourth is social that is you know your hospitals police departments your armies your these are your government bodies that control or hover or work within the land for the system number five is media we know that Media is where uh, they control the narrative through media. It is through the narrative. It is through the media that they control the narrative. They they, they push a message. They, they push a message. And then they keep pushing it through the media. They, they, they release a message. And then they push it through their media. They keep pushing it, pushing it, pushing it through that. Let me come off this block. So they push it through the media and then you become an agent Smith of it. And so then you start to believe it, believe it, believe it because it's coming out of the news. It's coming out of... And, and the thing is this. You believe it so easily because every channel you click on, it's like they're saying the same thing. Well, duh, that's what they are programmed to do. You see what I'm saying? These are programs that you're watching. Hear me again. When you're looking at the news, can I tell you something? I have not saw the news I have not sat up and intentionally watched the news. Intentionally watched the news in over a year. Now, you may see the news come across the timeline, but I'm not watching, I'm not intentionally sitting back watching the news. 
You know what I'm saying? It's been a very long time. I was thinking about that today. I said, when the last time you sat up here and actually watched the news channel? And I, and I was like, mm -hmm. I don't think I did. I don't think I, I don't, I don't remember the last time I watched the news. And I, and I said, it had to be at least a year. At least. And I sat up and, so, the, the, uh, <clears throat> fifth thing is media. You understand? Coconut. So the fifth thing is media and how they push the narrative. They push it, push it, push it, push it, push it, push it, push it. And then next thing you know, everybody's repeating it. And so now you got a bunch of Agent Smiths out here working on behalf of the government because government means to control the mind. You understand what I'm saying? And then you got all of these people pushing the same narrative. They're Agent Smiths. That are pushing the narrative now. And so you can't even get nothing. You can't really talk the true politics with people. You can't really talk true religion with people. You can't really, you know, the truth about spirituality. You can't really talk the truth about the government with people. Because the moment you do, Agent Smith pops up. It's like, now the Agent Smith guy pops up. And next thing you know, he's trying to turn you into an agent. Like they tried to do Neo. He's trying to turn you into an agent. And so they're like, and so everybody that's like being conscious crusaders, conscious crusaders, they're like, oh, no, 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 no. You can't talk like that over here. I was going out, I went out to eat the other day for breakfast. And this one guy, man, I felt this, you know, I was looking at him. He had like all the tattoos and the markings on him. He's Puerto Rican, no, Dominican. He's Dominican. And he had the tattoos on him. Reminded me of like a, a tribal dude. I was like, yo, man, I dig the tattoo. He had the anklets on. He was kind of like, you know, the anklets. He was kind of like looking like me and stuff. He had the anklets on. He had the, 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 uh, he had all the tattoos that looked very indigenous and very tribal. You understand? And these people, I can, I, I can guess that they are vaccinated because they had the mask on and I'm not discriminating about them being vaccinated but the moment we was having a good conversation about travel we were like yo you know da, 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 da. I was in um he's from Dominica and his wife was from Puerto Rico and I was like yeah I was in Puerto Rico flying through I, I, I had a layover in Puerto Rico but that was all I saw Puerto Rico I'm like yeah you know but I've been to Costa Rica I've been to other places in the world I've seen some beautiful places it was like, really, man? I was like, yeah, yeah, we vibing, right? We vibing. And I was feeling his spirit. He was feeling mine. And the moment I mentioned, you know what I'm saying? The moment I mentioned, you know, we need to, um, I said, uh, I love, um, I said, I love, like, those type of areas, you know, very tropical areas, you know, where it's very warm at and stuff like that. And I said, because they actually can heal you. You know, these type of areas are very healing to and I said this to him. I said people of like our complexion, you know, black and brown people. The moment I started to talk, that man was like, the agent X in him started to come out. The agent Smith in him started to come out. I could see he was like, he, his consciousness died because he couldn't comprehend where, where I was going with it. And he went to sleep and the agent X popped up, agent Smith popped up and that was it. It was like, he was like, yeah, you know, everybody's different. Everybody has different ways of believing and think. Okay, cool. All right. So, get back to this message. Peace, Timothy. Appreciate you being there. And Benit, appreciate you. Okay. Uh, where are we? Next. Number two is education. Education, or number six. I said number two. Number six if I was reversing it, it would be number two. But number six is education. Education. Why I'm going with education and religion. I'm going to go into this deeper. But understand that these are the seven cult traps of our society, our world. And then you have 
the last but not least, entertainment. Now, I told you about entertainment on my Facebook page, didn't I? Entertainment, you have to be careful how you entertain. How you entertain. It's called entertainment. Let's look at that word and break it down. Actually, I got a pen and paper right here for you. Let me break the word down for you. Okay? Let me break the word down for you. So you know what you, what's happening. This is the word now. Entertainment. Enter to contain. Enter to contain your mental. Enter to contain your mental. Inner taintment. What is being pushed as entertainment to us is really inner, inner taintment. Inner taintment. It is tainting our vessel. It is tainting our minds. It is tainting the way we think. It is tainting the way we live. It is tainting. But more importantly, it is enter, entering in to contain our mental state. Entertainment. Enter to contain the mental state, the mental mind, the mind. So what is going on and being pushed on us as people is this very thing. Religion government, economic, social, media, education, and entertainment, okay? So we have to be careful of the things we're letting enter into our being because it's called entertain, enter to contain, enter containment. Just to contain you. Who is this, Timothy Mc McCusson? <laughs> That's a good question, man. Um, I don't know. Can you come live with me? <laughs> I'm a crazy my mind is my mind is I don't know, could you live with me? Cause boy, my mind is crazy. Anyway, let's keep going. I've told you I'm gonna do two videos. I got a, I got a good feeling I'm going live again tonight. I got a good feeling I'm going live again tonight. Because I got something else to talk about that's really good that I've been holding all this in. So, religion and education is where we want to go. Religion and education is where we want to go. Why is that? Although all of these things right now in the crazy times that we're living in are still in effect and still in play. But without COVID, and I want to say this for all of you people who are pushing to get into vaccination, especially you businesses that's pushing the vaccination. You are pushing yourself right out of a business. I need you to understand that. You who are pushing the vaccines are actually pushing yourself right out of a business, bro. Uh, 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 whoever you are, sister, brother, whatever, whoever you are, agent, op, whatever you are. I want you to know you are wanting the vaccines and getting people, telling your employers, employees to get vaccinated. You who are pushing the vaccine are actually pushing yourself out of a business because the people... Everybody ain't vaccinated, but number one, everybody ain't finna just be occupying your restaurant or your business any longer like that anymore. You understand? So, yes, revenue is finna drop. That's one of the things they control, economics. How do you get control of the people? Control their livelihood. When you have people come, when you have, see what happened is, let me let me let me let me go through this. Let me go through this for real for real. See what happened is when you got a government. Okay, this is one of the pillars, one of the uh the the uh cult traps. When you believe in your when you have believed in your government so much that you've gotten so dependent on them because you thought they was just doing right by you. You know what I'm saying? You just think that your government just loves you. Your government just loves doing right by you. Your government is not corrupt. Your government is not wrong. They can do no harm. They can do no wrong. Your government loves you. 
That's you. You so patriotic for your country and your government, your 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 country. You so patriotic. You love your country, but your country is made up of laws that is ran by your government. So you love your government and the way your government has set it up, and so. Your government also has done something by implementing these COVID vaccines and passports and all that other crap we're not going to jump into today. But beloved, your government, you gotten so dependent on your government, your government saw how comfortable you've gotten and said, you're too comfortable in your independence. We got to cut it off because the more you become independent of the government, the more you make the government obsolete. The more the government is not needed, the more the government is obsolete. You don't need them. You, you, you cancel them out the more you become independent. The only way for the government to work is for people to become dependent on them. So the people that are pushing the vaccine, people that are pushing vaccines on their employees, you are pushing yourself out of a business, thus having to become dependent on your government. This is all the cult trap, beloved. This is all a cult trap. It is to get you engaged in their cult. America and the laws is their cult. And they're here to trap you in their cult. Because you've gotten independent of the cult. You don't need the cult. You went on and created your own cult. What you went on and did was you said, you know what? I don't need America. I don't need this. I don't need the government. I, I'm, my business is thriving. I'm making a lot of money. I'm good. I'm good. But they put sanctions on you as a business owner now. And they told you that you have to pay for it. This is in the California bill of the vaccine passport. That the employer has to pay uh, if any employee of theirs gets hurt on the job uh, for six months and pay their insurance and also, um, but these are for the vaccinated. So if you're vaccinated and you get hurt on a job, you're going to be getting like six months pay and your insurance is covered and all of that. Your head of medical insurance, all that's going to be covered. That's going to put you as an employer out of business. That's going to put you out of, as an employer out of business. Because you as a businessman cannot be paying all that kind of money out to somebody on your company or your job getting hurt. You're not Steve Bezos. You ain't got billions of bucks. You understand? You understand? And so everybody gets hurt on your job or everybody gets sick on your job, sick, because COVID is out there. Then guess what? You gotta pay for all of them. Because they if, especially if they're if they're the vaccinated. And if you and, and, and as an employer, you cannot even hire nobody. Who is unvaccinated and they don't prove that and, and who is unvaccinated and those actually you can that's a lie you can hire them but they say your insurance is going to go up more and therefore and the person that don't want to get vaccinated has to subject themselves to being tested every week every week so there you have it you mr boss man mr employer you just put yourself more in the pickle than the, the person who's choosing not to be vaccinated. You should have been doing what? You have should have been fighting against the government and keep to keep your independence and your sovereignty uh, of your company and saying, no, we good. We don't need, we just pay our taxes at the end of the year. We good. We don't need y'all. We good over here. We just, we pay, I'm paying my taxes. That's it. But no, no, you want to push all this stuff the narrative you want to push the vaccine so therefore the people that has to come work for you has to be vaccinated and that's what you are you're an agent you're agent smith you agent smith now you made your employers the nfl made the nfl as an employer that made the employees get vac vaccinated so now everybody's vaccinated so this is your government this is the government that is your government is a cult trap there the education and religion and all of these here are cult traps now why is this even important for you to know this i'm getting somewhere with this believe me i am and so now your government has put the clamps down on you as an employer so guess what you cannot do you cannot move freely as you once independent as you independently once could 
as you independently once could. Now you cannot move as freely as you independently once could. Can't do it. See you. Sayonara. Bye bye. Gotta go. Adios. You cannot do that. All that stuff is out the window. Now you are trapped in the cult. You can't even get out. The only way you can get out is if you decimate everything. You gotta destroy it all. You gotta say, Y'all can have it. I don't want the business. I don't want none of this. You gotta just give it all back to them. The government is in control and they need control by the dependency of the people. They need control by the dependency of the people. If you don't give them no dependency, they don't have no reason for existing. But to enforce laws when they're broken. So when you don't have no need for your government, they create a, they create a need. They create a way. So now mandatory vaccine passports are coming to every, or vaccine passports is coming. Listen, they mandated vaccines. Almost mandated vaccines. Most companies mandating vaccines. You don't. Why, why do they need to push a passport? You've already man. You've already made some companies mandate. Some states mandate. People get vaccinated in these companies and jobs. Certain government companies. You got to be vaccinated. And I'm gonna say this to the day I stop breathing. Anybody black getting vaccinated? You just been assassinated. If you get vaccinated, you've been assassinated. I'm going to post that on Facebook. That's a nice quote. If you get vaccinated, you've been assassinated. Period. Okay? Uh, so, moving on. You have to understand that your government needs your dependency. If you give them, uh, if you don't give them your dependency, they have no reason to exist except for their enforced laws when they're broken. But when you don't give them a reason to exist, they have no reason for diving in your business. Literally and figuratively. They have no reason for diving into your business. But now they're all up in your business. Telling you how to run your business. And the only way to say no to the government. Without getting fined so heavy that you end up losing your business. Is to give up your business. So you're going to either willingly give it up. And say nope. Or you're going to forcefully lose it. They're gonna, you're going to lose it by force or you're going to give it up by will. Your choice. Your choice. You choose. And so a business inside of this government is just keeping you inside of a cult trap. It's keeping you trapped in a cult. You're not here. You're not here to. You're not here to uh, live. For them, you're here to live for yourself. But in their government, they have to control you. You're here to live for them. It's a cult trap. That was me talking about government. But religion and education are the biggest cult traps. Religion and education are the biggest cult traps of this society. Once again, we have entertainment or inter contain your mental uh, you know what I'm saying so it's not entertainment you got to create your own language so you understand the meaning of the, the more the power of these words it's not entertainment it's inter contain your mental inter contain mental so entertainment or entertain entertain you it's here to entertain your mind and your being so we understand that entertainment is a form of controlling, but entertainment has kind of slowed, took a, a, a dip because of COVID. You can't, you know, COVID in the beginning stopped all of entertainment, sports, it stopped the music, it stopped um, art, it stopped movies, it stopped theaters, it stopped acting, it stopped every form of art. Entertainment stopped every form of, uh, uh, COVID stopped every form of entertainment. So when there was no entertainment, you understand? There was really nothing to entertain you except for what? The media. The news. That was the only entertainment you had. In us entertaining each other. On lives and stuff like that. But other than that. 
You had no entertainment. You couldn't watch soccer, football, basketball, go to a movie. You couldn't go to the theater. You couldn't go. You couldn't uh, go go see a dance. You couldn't go see a play. And and in some places, it's still like that. It's still where there's limited capacity. You can't really go here. You can't really go there. In some places, it's still limited capacity because of COVID. And so, what am I saying? Entertainment is heavy, but it was not the heaviest one. It's not the heaviest one of the seven. Now, all of them are heavy, but the, there's two heavier ones on here. Media is very heavy, trapping you into the cult society. Cult, trapping you in the cult is a cult trap. You know, this is a cult trap. Media is definitely a cult trap. Economics, chasing the money, chasing the bag, thinking that you need to chase the bag is definitely getting trapped inside of their cult because you're using something that they didn't even use like thousands, not even thousands of years, not even a thousand years ago. 200 plus years ago, they wasn't even using money, the paper. It just came into existence. And all of a sudden, you're chasing it, but it has no value. It has no true natural value. It has no natural value. I mean, the, literally, the only natural value it has is it being made out of paper, and hopefully it's biodegradable. So that way, when you wipe your butt with it, you can throw it on the ground and let the earth eat it up. You understand? And so, if it's not biodegradable, then it's actually worthless. And so, yeah, we want to chase the bag. Yeah, we want the money. Yeah, but you understand that chasing the bag, chasing the money, you're actually chasing after them. Let me say that again. You need to hear this differently. The more you chase the money or the more that the money becomes the focus of your whole practice, your lifestyle, what you do. If money is the focus, nothing wrong with money. But if money, and I don't want to demonize money, but if money is the focus and not help, I'm going to share a picture with you that I took today when I was at the bookstore. Um, stay right there. Stay right there. Stay right there. Stay right there. Don't go nowhere. We still not even hitting hard on this thing yet. So, we still not even hitting hard on this thing yet. So, so, listen. I'm going to share with you where my mind is right now. I'm going to share with you where my mind is headed. This is where my mind is headed. Because y'all need to understand the reality of this thing right here that we're dealing with. Y'all need to understand the reality of all of this. And so, there is... Um, so what we're doing is chasing the money, chasing the bag, is literally putting you in a bag. You're actually like a a a, 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 a a snake or something that you know you got you got caught inside the house and the snake handler came and grabbed you and put you in the bag because you chasing the money, you chasing that snake, you chasing that snake, and then when you're chasing or well, when money is the focus, when money is the focus, when money is the focus. What you end up doing is you end up chasing them. That's what they want. That's that, that that they couldn't have it any better. That's like them having their cake and eating it too. That's them having their cake and eating it too. So when you when money is your focus, they're like, damn, we got a we got a dummy on our hands because they don't understand the way money is. Listen, beloved, I've been to a lot of countries. <laughs> this is funny. This is hilarious. I've been to a lot of countries. And you know what they tell me they would rather have when I whenever I'm buying something? I say I say to them, um, you know, I'm in Egypt, I got their money is pounds, the Egyptian pounds. Or I'm in um Costa Rica is the, the, the um their money is the what is their money? The the um the it starts with a D I think. Oh my God, I'm losing it. It starts with a D, I believe. Um, 
the no the mill the mill the mill not a d it's a mill it's called the mill the mill and so when i'm in costa rica you got the mill when i'm in dominica you got i mean when, I, when i'm in egypt you got the pound you know what they would rather have they would rather have a u.s dollar whenever i'm buying something they would rather have the u.s dollar than me pay them in pounds or pay them in mills they would rather have the u.s dollar only because the u.s dollar is highly valuable or valued around the world so they put more value so most other countries currency and economic system is backed up by who most countries most new developing countries i ain't say third world i said new developing countries most new developing countries whenever you see a country that used to be in the ruins whenever you see a country that used to be shit excuse my language whenever you see a country that used to be shit and all of a sudden the cities are beautiful now whenever you see a country where the buildings are beautiful they got bridges they got architect out this world whenever you see a country kind of like dubai was kind of like um what where else where else in the world can we say um uh uh, uh nairobi in africa a lot of cities in africa whenever you see companies and con uh, countries building themselves up developing out of the ruins when they were in ruins before you best believe either America and the central bank has something to do with that or China. And I'm going to say more so the first part. America has a lot more to do with that. Number one, because America and China are allies. So America has a lot more to do with that. You understand? The colonization of these people's countries. You understand? Stamping, staking their flag in the ground. Saying this is ours underneath it all. They won't say it out loud because people will not support a business or a company over in their country if it's an American made company. They want to see black people in Africa, they want to see black people that work inside that company, that own that company, but underneath it all, that company is really owned by America. And so, whenever you see these new buildings and new architectural companies and these new constructions going on, and all these different cities in the world, different countries in the world, America's behind that. And so this is why the dollar anywhere I go is more valuable in most of these countries. The dollar has a little bit more high value because the Bank of America is there. Central Bank of America is there. The Central Bank of America is there. So what that does was that made our currency, that made our currency um, the, for, the front runner. Their currency no longer even matters. Their currency almost don't exist. It's almost as if America says, just get rid of your currency. I went there with a currency. I went there to Egypt. A guy that went to Egypt before that lives here in Florida where I'm at, he has some Egyptian money. He said, I'm going to bring you some Egyptian money that I have from when I went. I said, okay. He gave me a few dollars of the Egyptian money. I go to Egypt. I go take the money that he gave me. I try to spend it. They say, what is this? I said, this is Egyptian pounds. You know what the man told me? He said, oh, this is not even worth nothing no more. It's nothing. Like, this is nothing no more. The, it's called the pastry. The Egyptian pastry. Pa pa past oh, not pastry. Pastel. The pastel, it's like it's out of, it's out of rotation. It's out of rotation. For a little bit higher which is the pound, which is we know where the pound comes from, Europe. The European pound. That's where the pound comes from, Europe. So, so look at the currency of a country, that's your colonizer. You understand? There you have it. And so, they told me, this ain't worth nothing. We don't want that. So you got to understand, it's deeper than just believing what I'm telling you. I've lived by experience. I'm going to show you what I got from the bookstore later. I'm living by experience and I'm living off my experience. Okay. And so religion, or not religion, but um, economics is one of the ways that is controlling and keeping people in cult traps. It's, you're getting trapped. So when you chase money, when money's the focus, you're trapped. You're doing them a favor. You're like, you're doing them a favor. You're saying to them, here I am. You can have me. I, I, I'm, I'm a slave for you. 
I'm not saying nothing's wrong with making money. Make your money. I got my cash shop. Throw some throw some money in it. I'm not here, but I'm not here to I'm not here to make money my focus, though. My message is always my focus. But if you wanna you wanna serve good by me doing good, then show some good love. Sow a good seed. Other than that, that's okay. Whatever. Do your thing. You understand? I'm not gonna hate you and not gonna stop doing lives because I looked at my cash up and I ain't seen no new drop drops in there today. No. I'm gonna keep going with this thing. Okay? Okay? Okay. Now. So this is one of the other ways they're controlling you inside their coat trap. Once again, I want to repeat myself when I say this, and I need you to hear this. When I said, I said that the government, if you, when you become independent of the government, the government is obsolete. That means they are not needed. They can go away, do away with them. They're not needed. They're obsolete. You make them obsolete, but they have to create a scenario, a way to make you dependent on them. And that is through these vaccine, mandatory vaccines and passport, vaccine passports. That's through all of this stuff. So now they need your dependency again because you messed around and gotten too independent of them. And they didn't like that. They said, we don't like that. Uh, -uh Y'all just out here doing y'all thing, doing what y'all want, living y'all best lives. No, no, no. We got to put a stop to this. Because they got to be reminded who runs this. They got to be reminded who's in control. They must be reminded who they're working for. They are working for us. You're working for us. I'm going to share I'm going to share with you um I'm going to share with you a picture that I took of that I took today in the bookstore just to show you the cover. Show you the cover. I want to show you the cover of something. Okay? I need you to see the cover of this picture, this magazine. I took a picture of it. Um, and so, education and religion are cult traps. Now, we also have the social um, cult trap, which is the hospitals, the police departments, the armies. These are the people that are working to keep the government system going, the, the matrix or the, uh, the, 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 what we call the gulag. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is what, this keeping the new world in position to reign terror over the American people. Okay? The media we already expounded on. But let's dive into education and religion. And before I do that, I want to show y'all what I took a picture of today. I took a picture of this today. Oh, man, you can't see it. But if you can see it, let me see if I can blow it up. Nope. Can't blow it up. If you can see it. Because it's sideways. It says Costa Rica basically life expectancy. Oh man, my eyes. Hold on. That's some tiny print. It says Costa Rica life expectancy. Um, basically, what it said was the life expectancy of Costa Rican people. And, and I took a um, another picture of the inside of the article. I took a picture of the inside of the article so I can read it for later. You understand what I'm saying? But uh Costa Rica is talking about Costa Rica. It's talking about Costa Rica um life expectancy outpaces everybody else. Hold on, go back and read that. Tell me what that say. I see enlightened started the message. Tell me what that say. It says Costa Rica Life expectancy outpaces who? Basically the rest of the world. The rest of the world. You understand? This is in the New Yorker, okay? This is in the New Yorker. So, so this is why we got to get to, you know, the tropics. And I know that I say this a lot and, and I know a lot of people heard this before by other people. And they think, oh, you just repeating somebody else's. No, 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 no. I'm not repeating a damn thing. Um... I'm not repeating nobody else. I'm just telling you the way our ancestors believed. I'm telling you the way our ancestors practiced. I'm telling you the way our ancestors looked, what they looked to. I told you today on my Facebook page, there are only two colors, carbon and copper. You look in that copper. This is carbon. There's only two colors, carbon and copper, beloved. 
that is the universe and that is the earth you understand that is the cosmos that is the space out there the dark black that's the black space out there and then you got the copper tone that's me beautiful copper tone man then you got the copper tone so you have carbon you have copper there's only two tones of life there's only two tones there's no color and there's only one race and that is the indigenous there's only one race there's no black race there's no white race there's no that's the indigenous beings of this planet those who are indigenous to this land and not just this land all land one the planet is one land it's not all different lands it's one land it's one land it's not many different lands but we gotten separated by culture we got you know how that happened through religion through education <clears throat> <clears throat> getting so excited through religion through education did we separate religion divided us religion took us religion separated us from who we were spiritually religion separated us from who we were spiritually education separated us from who we are mentally and emotionally and what does that mean that means if you take santa claus away from your son or daughter they will cry because they've been taught to believe a white Santa Claus is real. They've been taught to believe a white Jesus is real. They've been taught to believe that Easter Bunny is real. So when you take away the white figurines, you have basically hit a raw nerve with your child. Emotionally and mentally. And it's through the education that our children get rate of their minds of their freedom of their independency and so that's why i gotta go live again tonight because i gotta talk about something else too that's been on my mind about this whole these gender roles that's been we're gonna go live again tonight about these gender roles. i got all day today i swear to god i got time i got time today i got time and we gotta talk about these gender roles and we're gonna get into later after this i promise you i'm coming back coming back I got energy okay I got energy but the cult traps are religion and education number one you separate people from their beliefs you miss you give them a misunderstanding of who they are and so therefore they start to fight for their their beliefs they start to fight for their they start to fight for your way now they become puppets they become they become puppets of the government they become control puppets of uh, of this society they become control puppets beloved control puppets they become control puppets i'm gonna share a video with you when i talk about we are to be independent we need to be sovereign we need to be independently thinking we need to get back to our sovereignty because our sovereignty our sovereignty beloved is where not only our independence come in but our sovereignty is where we decimate the government and its system. Because we fight. When you, when, when you are claiming your sovereignty, it's, actually, it's an actual fight. It's a fight. It's almost a legal fight. Because they don't want you to know you are not who they say you are. You're not a number. You're not your name. You're not even your name. You're not your name. That's why it's important, I tell y'all. That's why it's important for a lot of y'all to get, you know, new names. It's important for y'all to get spiritual names. Be called by something that you've been given to, a name that you've been given by a master teacher like myself. Um, at my retreats, I've gave out so many names to a lot of my, my uh, participants who came to my retreats. They got new names. They got initiated. They got initiated into the into the meditated state of mind, which means they have a thought belief. See, this is the beauty of the way I teach. I love, you know, the way I teach is me not trying to control your mind. This is why meditation is the first law of holistics. Because it's not me wanting to control you with my message, my rhetoric, 
and my my belief. I tell you meditation be the first law of holistics because you're going to gain your mind. You're going to gain your belief. You're going to gain and then you live from that. You are elevated most. I'm better when you are who you are individually. I'm better when you are who you are individually. I'm better for it. Because your individuality and my individuality becomes harmony. It becomes harmony because now you get to work in the spirit in the in the now you get to work as spirit in the flesh in what you came to do and I get to work as spirit in the flesh and what I came to do and if this and if, if those things align beloved that's God that's not us on the flesh that's us on the spirit that's God if those things align on the spirit level then that's God that's not me that's not my flesh that's not my physical being saying let's let's manifest this and let's force this no if they align on a spiritual level before they align anywhere else beloved then that's not me physically that's me god that's you god that's us being god that's us being god that's not you that's the great harmonious alignment of the divine that's why i say this harmony it's the great harmonious alignment of the divine god it's the great harmonious alignment okay if it aligns harmoniously, beloved, that's God. That's not me. So when you come to me and I tell you, listen, you need the spiritual name. You got a name that's coming to you. I'm going to be giving it to you later on. And this is your name now. You must force that on the minds of other people. Because if they call you by your... This is why I told you. Education and religion are cult traps. If people call you by your normal or your old name, your old man... Your old thinking mind, your old consciousness, then people are pulling you down from your throne. People are pulling you down because they're not educated. And so you have to educate them. But even still, people call me by my real my my I hate to say real name. People call me by my my uh but that's why we say government name. People call me by my government name. Still. And I look at it and be like, no, that's not my name. That's not my name. My name is Omaka. Why? Because that's the spirit that I've been called in. And so the the religious the religion of people has them trapped. The beliefs of, of people have them trapped. Religion has put people in a cult trap. So people can't even break the spell to respect your mind by simply calling you by the name you asked them to call you by. That's how trapped they are into the, 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 the religious belief of their, their master, of their government. That's how trapped they are in it. That's how, deep, that's how deep they're in it. To the point where they can't even respect your mind when you ask them, please don't call me that. Call me this. And they'll be like, why call you that? And then they argue with you. Then they argue with you. I had somebody argue with me. Like literally yelling arguing with me and I'm like bruh like look respect my mind that's it just respect my mind don't call me by out of my name because people when people call you out of your name it's a vibration beloved and what people call you they pull you to mm. 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 what people call you they pull you toward so if people call you Omaka, they pull you up, they pull you higher, they pull you up. And people call you my government name, they pull you down. They pull you down. Because they know better not to call you that and they still call you that. Then therefore, you are engaging. And if you answer to it, you even worse for it if you answer to it. Because now you are engaging in the pulling down of your ranking file. You are engaging in, in the pulling down of your rank. We cannot be pulled down from our rank. Because we are here as spiritual beings. And we've been called up as spiritual beings. We've been called up. We've been called out. And we've been called up. We've been called out. And then we've been called up to go and ascend. So that we can be the God, the guardians. So we can guide others and be the guardians of this planet. For the lost souls. And the lost tribes of this planet. 
So I want to share with you some magazines I bought today. Some some of the stuff I kind of already know a lot about. I bought a camping magazine today. Bought a camping. What does it say? The complete guide to camping. I know a lot about camping because I um, used to work at a outdoor camping. I used to work for an outdoor camping company a couple years ago in North Carolina. And I didn't need no magazine. Trust me. You learn everything on the fly. <laughs> and you learn everything when you learn it. So I learned everything about there is about camp. I, I pretty much know all there is about camp life. Trust me, I, I'm pretty, pretty well experienced in outdoor living. I can, I can really uh, survive the camp life. And uh, living off the land is another one I got. Living off the land, not living off the land, like living off the land, like you're floating in air. But living off of it, living like when you're when you're only dependent on what the land gives you, you're living off the land. So you're living dependent, solely dependent on the the food in the water, the food on the ground, the food in the trees. You understand? So I'm gonna be, you know, just brushing back up on certain skills, new skills, old skills that I'm here to do that I came here to do. Um, I wanted to share that with y'all because that's where y'all minds need to be right now. Total independency, total self-sufficiency, total independence, sovereign, sovereign. Let me share with you a video I did and I talked about on sovereignty. Before we talk about our vision, we have to take ourselves outside of the vision we're, we're already yes. in. Can you explain that? Yes, absolutely. I just believe that it... We're, we're supposed to be like everywhere again. Everybody that said something up here was that's me speaking. If y'all don't so know, so we that. have to understand the word sovereignty. And, and we just experienced Juneteenth, right? This emancipation, some type of freedom, but we're skipping over the main thing because we're stuck inside of a vision of the let me just classify it as it is. We're stuck inside of a Eurocentric mindset, you Ooh. understand. Ooh. And so now we have to have sovereignty, which means we have to come together and say, what are we actually fighting to get? So they created sovereignty by land, laws, and language. So how, why, aren't, why aren't we fighting to have something similar? Why aren't we fighting to get land? Why aren't we, I understand success is a good thing to have. Success and financially is a good thing to have. They said, we don't need money. Everything doesn't take money. Or they say, um, you don't have to have money for everything, but everything takes money. So we understand that finance and money is a part of that spectrum. We have to use the, the system, the currency that they give us. But even still using that currency, we can create a freedom of sovereignty for ourselves. We can create independence. This is what sovereignty means, to not be codependent on someone else. So when we use, what we can do is we can use their currency. We can create freedom through our land grow and cultivate our minds, our people, our own food. We don't need money to survive in the system once we have the mindset of sovereignty. Once we go back to what my man said, our cultural ways. That's how we got to get back. That's how. That's a vision. And that's what I see for us. I've been working on doing that since for years. So, and, and my brother here, Polite, all of us, our minds are there. But we have to really get out of this mindset, their mind. We're in their mind right now. And the only way we get free is when we come into our minds. Thank you. Appreciate y'all. Oh. That's it. Oh. 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 Oh my God. That was hot, dog. Oh my God. Did y'all hear what I said? I said. Did you hear what I said? Man, y'all ain't even. Man. Should I play that? Who wants to hear that one more time? Do y'all need to hear that again? Do y'all need to hear that again? I need to know. Do y'all need to hear that one more time? Because I'm going to play it again before the end. I'm going to play it again before it ends. I'm going to play that again before it ends. Why is that important that I said we have to get out of their minds? This is a cult trap. Put this back up for y'all so y'all can see since y'all think it's a game. We are living in a cult trap. Education and religion are cult traps. And the more and more and more we play the game, the more and more and more we play their game, 
the more and more and more we are entrapping ourselves, this is entrapment. The more we entrap ourselves into the cult, almost to the point where, let me let this down. Almost to the point where we weld and weave ourselves into the fabric of the cult, the, 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 the cult that we become so mind screwed because we're so mind screwed we become so mind screwed that we don't even know how to get our mind it's going to have to take a complete brain wash literally a washing of your brain it's going to have to take a complete washing your brain of all of the information you understand what i'm saying and some of the things that i like to talk about when it comes to you know getting you out of that mindset it's breaking you know breaking you out of that mindset it's deep beloved it, it goes very deep and so you got to understand that you got to be washed of your thinking to get out of the cult trap and the more and more and more you fight to uphold the system the more you go to work for it the more you even though you you despise getting up every morning going to work every sunrise going to work even though you despise getting up um you know you know paying bills you despise doing these things what did i say in the video i said the only way we're going to gain independency is when we truly truly beloved when we truly love ourselves to the point we have to love ourselves to the point and to the degree of where we say you know what i am willing to sacrifice everything here to meet with my brother, meet with my sister, have a, a union of the mind. That means we come together on one idea, one thought, one mind. We have a union of the mind. So we can have communion, right? And, and so we have to be ready to say, I'm ready to, we have to, or there is no getting out of this. And that's why I said you weld yourself and weave yourself into the fabric of the cult to the point where you can't get out because you're basically chained to it. You're basically a part of the paint on the walls. You, you understand what I'm saying? You're basically a part of the, the mortar inside the bricks of the concrete. You're so woven into the fabric of the cult minded of this country to the point where you can't even get out if you wanted to because you're so glued and so bonded to it now the only way out for you is literally spiritual death you're gonna have to take a you're gonna have to do spiritual death that means you're gonna have to die to what you believe you're gonna have to just have a complete brain shutdown you're gonna have to have a complete computer program shutdown you gotta shut down the computer you gotta just say no talking to nobody no dealing with nobody no being around nobody no fucking nobody no none of that you shut it all down and you go silent and you go what they call 30 30 dark zero dark they call it dark 30 and you go dark 30 it's like you know nothing blackness it's just that's how you shut your world down you understand it's a, a complete blackout and then you got to come back and when you come back it'll be a new world for you it will be an opening of a new world that you won't even see the same old world anymore so you have to go through a spiritual death take on a spiritual name have a new spiritual identity it's going to take a complete renewal of your whole idea and so of of of, of mine and so religion plays a big part of that taking us and trapping us into the fabrics of this cult and thus we skip over and misunderstand our personal belief. And then, beloved, we lose ourselves through education because the number one, religion, that's why I gave it these two. Religion and education are the biggest cult traps. Once they give you a new belief and you've been indoctrinated with a belief, that's on spiritual level. Then they give you their mind that's on they give you their God one on a spiritual level then they give you their mind on an educational level this is see there was a saying I saw somebody said he said from zero from pre-k to five you are learning to read and from five on up you are reading to learn you are reading to learn the ways 
of the system and the way it operates. And you're reading to learn how to be a puppet in a perpetual cog in the uh, 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 no you're not a cog in the wheel you're actually a um you're actually on the surface of the tire of the wheel you're rolling around and round and round with them you understand and you're not a cog in the wheel and so you become basically a part you become integrated and so the education integrates you into the into the into the what they call those uh the neurons the the, the education integrates you into the neurons of the mind the receptors of the of, of the of the oppressor's mind the education the education integrates you into the receptor it takes you into his mind to give you a look at how it operates you understand and that's why a lot of history is being revealed on who they truly are why because you can hide nothing when you are part of their mind. Think about that. When you are a part of their mind, when you learn and study who they are. This is how the universe operates. When you've learned and studied your oppressor's mind through education, because through education you learn in his mind, what ends up happening? A lot of truth ends up getting revealed about what they did to other cultures, other societies. They cannot hide it. Why? Because through the through them educating you, they're also actually and stupidly not knowing or ignorantly not knowing that they're allowing you inside their mind because that's what education is. It, they're educating you by letting you inside their mind. And by letting you inside their mind, you see their secrets, you see their you see their, their darkest the darkest stuff that they did. So that's why when we see things like the Tuskegee experiment, we see things like slavery, we see things like the um trail of tears. When we see things like what they did to Africans and what in Africa, what they did to the kids in Haiti. When we see things that come up in the Catholic Church, um, pedophile, 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 and all that stuff. Beloved, all you're doing is seeing inside the mind that you've been trained to see inside. You've been trained to see inside of his mind through education. And so don't be alarmed. Be alarmed, but don't be alarmed when you look when when having the mind of your master. You start to re you things start to get revealed to you, like pedophilia, sex, tra kid trafficking. You understand? Don't be don't be alarmed when things start to get revealed to you. They are getting revealed to you because you're studying his mind through education, and all of the things that he done is still there in his mind. All of the things that he's done over the years. Is there in his mind so when you enter his mind through education you're entering his past you're entering the secrets you're entering the dark things they've done and they do and it only just be revealed to you it's like whoa so you got to have a complete wipe down a complete shutdown a complete let go of their mind forget about what they did forget about what they did to us in slavery and I know y'all don't want to hear that but I'm saying this for a reason I'm not saying this for, like, I'm not saying this to be, I'm not saying this to be, like, shocking. I'm not saying this for shockwaves, to send shockwaves. I'm saying, forget about, beloved, if we keep fighting the, the, the mental trauma that they've done to us, then guess whose mind you are still in? Because if you keep remembering that, if you keep reminding yourself of that and you keep remembering that you are still in his mind you have to have such a complete wipe down of his mind that you've forgotten all about everything he's done because you become so independent of him his world doesn't even exist you create a utopia inside the dystopia you create your own utopian society more than that you create what? An atmosphere from the biosphere. You create a bios from your biosphere. You create an atmosphere and you become protected. You become governed. You become watched over by the guardians of this planet that came before you and, and said that we're, we, are, we are those who that inherited the earth. The meek shall inherit the earth. We are the meek that inherit the earth. That means while we were here, we were guiding and guarding. And when we leave, we still choose to stay here. 
I believe I'm a guardian. I believe I'm not going to heaven if there is a heaven. I don't believe I'm going to heaven when I leave here. I believe that I am a guardian now because I'm doing the work to guide you, awaken you, open your mind to. I'm leading you, you know, through these retreats and through these workshops I do, through my holistic laws. I believe I am leading you through my messages I speak. I believe I am leading you. That's a guardian. I'm guarding my people. I am, I am guiding them to this way. And then I believe I've chosen to stay here when I leave this flesh to continue to guide those and guard those and enter their mind to keep them awakened when they when 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 they're being put to sleep. You understand what I'm saying? So education and religion are the biggest cult traps on planet America. Okay? The biggest cult traps. They rob you of your belief. Then they rob you of your mind. And of your and of your mind, once they rob you of your mind, they give you their mind. And once they give you their mind, you're trapped inside their mind. That's why you still remember slavery. That's why you still remember the uh, the 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 the, uh, the trail of tears. The, them slaughtering thousands and thousands and thousands of Native American Indians. That's why you remember all of the treacherous demagoguery things that they've done to indigenous beings. As I told you, there's only two tones, not colors, but two tones of this planet. It's copper and carbon. There's only carbon, and, and you're looking at the copper tone right here, baby. This is the earth tone. Copper is earth tone. Copper is the color of the earth tone. Carbon is the color of the universe. There's only two colors. We don't have a multiple of colors. We only have two colors, carbon and copper okay and i and, and that and this is the earth tone i am here as an earthly being a natural man and there's only one race that is called the indigenous race there's no race there's no black there's no white race there's no Amer american indian race there's no mexican race there's only the indigenous race those who came here to this planet naturally organically and 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 they not mutated they came here naturally and organically there's only one race that's called the indigenous race. There's only one belief that's called the planetarian belief. We 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 natural indigenous people are planetarian believers. We believe that all we need to do is live off the land. Live off of the land. We live off the land. That's what it means to be a planetarian. It's to know that we live off the land because the land provides everything for us. Why? Because the land gives us as indigenous as, as the indigenous race we're the indigenous race if you're not carbon and you're not copper you're not the indigenous race you dig you're not part of the indigenous tribe we are the indigenous tribe of this planet you understand and as the indigenous tribe of this planet beloved there's only one thing that we should be doing to raise the consciousness of, of the minds of the people that are not here in the consciousness of the mind of the people that are going to get ready to come here in the consciousness of the people of the minds who are right now they're in a coma state there's some people who did what I said do they went into complete shutdown I can't take this no more I can't take this no more they shut down Johnny number five shut down no no disassemble but remember that movie, um, Johnny, 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 number five? No disassemble number five? Remember that? No disassemble number five. No disassemble number five. Don't disassemble number five. No, I'm telling you, you got to disassemble. We got to disassemble you. We got to shut you down. We got to break you down. We got to disassemble you. Because it's time to reassemble. We got to assemble you now. We got to reassemble. Some of y'all may be too young for that movie, Johnny. Johnny. I think it was Johnny or it was called number five. I don't remember. It was either Johnny or number five or number five. Some of y'all might be too young for that. <laughs> y'all don't remember that movie. But that was a, a robot. That was way back in the day. With a robot. That was a talking robot. No disassemble number five. Don't disassemble. No, we need to disassemble you. And there's some people right now who are right now in the coma state. They disassembled their mind. 
They let go of the religion. They said, I don't know what to believe no more. <laughs> Shut down. They said, I don't know what to think no more. <laughs> they, they quit school. They got out of school. And they said, I'm shutting down. They don't know what to think anymore. So now, what's, the, what's left to think? What's left to do? What's there to do? What's there to think? What's left? Us, the guardians. Us, the conscious crusaders. Us, the indigenous race. Us. It is time for us to awaken their minds. You know, like uh, people still bumping R. Kelly, huh? Can't help that. Um, so the indigenous race, we have to do what? Like, um, what's his name? David Copperfield, or, or when, when he hip not when you know you hip, when you hypnotize somebody, you say, when I snap my fingers, you're gonna wake up and be a dog. You, that's what we got to do. We got to wake them up. Some people are caught in the hypnotic state or comatose state, the coma. And it's our job to get on here and wake them up. And they be like, and they become a new world to them. We don't take them down a rabbit hole where they got to do all the work for them. No, you don't say, go back and do all of this work. No, you say no. Come with me if you want to live, like Arnold Schwarzenegger and Terminator. Come with me if you want to live. That's what you do. You say, hey, wake up, okay? Now come with me if you want to live. We don't take you back to do all the study work. No, that information is already disposed of. Information is new and always coming in. We got to keep upgrading, 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 upgrading. This is the education. Upgrading, 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 upgrading. The information is always updating. So as it update, we upgrade. As it updates, we upgrade. So we have to uh, upgrade through the update. Upgrade through the update. We have to upgrade through the updates. We can't take them back to post dates. We can't take them back to the past time to say, go learn all of this. Go study all of this. Go look at what the white man did to black people back 400 years ago. Go look at that. And all, what, what that's going to do for you? What is that going to do for you? Come back with anger? No, we don't want you to come back with anger. That's going to bring you back with anger and, 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 and bitterness. And you're going to be like, oh my God. I just studied all the books. I just studied all the books. I just studied Malcolm. I studied Prophet Muhammad, Elijah Muhammad. I studied Muhammad Ali. I studied every teacher. I studied Amos Wilson. I studied all of the teachers that talked about what they did to us in those times. Oh my God. Oh, I'm exhausted. What's that going to do for you but waste your time? All I did was waste your time. I got to get off of here. I'm going to get off of here in about five minutes because I'm going to start a new live. I want to start a new live. I want to start a new conversation, new talk, new dialogue because I got to go in. So education and religion are cult traps. If you are still, you know, you, I, I, I'll, be, I'll be honest with you. Like I said this before I go. I'm, I'm not knocking you. But I always tell people, I, I always look at people and people say, oh, I'm going to school. I almost want to laugh. Like, <laughs> really? You going to school? That's funny to me. <laughs> That's so funny when somebody tell me they, they enrolled in school. I'm like, really? You enrolled in school? For what? Why? Why? Huh? No, literally, give me an explanation why. Are you going to school? Anyway, there's no reason to go to school, beloved. And I'm going to say it louder. I'm going to say it again. There is no reason to go to school. No reason to go to school. You have no need of it. The only reason you go to school... The only reason you go to school, beloved, and I'm talking about a building institute. I'm not talking about going to school on life. I'm not talking about being a student of life. I'm a student of life. I love learning. The only time you go to school is to get indoctrinated. That's it. That's it. That's all. The only time you go to school is to get indoctrinated. The only time you go to church is to get indoctrinated. It's the only time 
you go to school or church to get indoctrinated. Other than that, you're not going to school to learn independency. Did they teach you? Did they teach you self-sufficiency in school? Did you learn anything about self-sufficiency in any class, any school? No, you might have learned agriculture, but the only agriculture you learned was how to continue building and making these factories for these farms that they snatching away from farmers so that they could keep putting pesticides and spraying all these poisons and, and uh, Monsanto's all over our food and, and, and feeding us GMO food, unhealthy food. So the only time you go to agriculture, you go to school for agriculture is not to study how to build a farm on your own and do homesteading. You're not learning permaculture. You're not learning horticulture. You're not learning herbiculture. You're learning something different. What is it that you're learning? You're learning how to keep the system culture going. You're learning how to keep their cult, their cult, their culture going. And that's the only reason you go to school is to get indoctrinated with their cult. Sure. It's the only reason you go to church is to stay indoctrinated with their cult. Sure. I'm not afraid to denounce and renounce church. I'm not afraid to denounce church or afraid to denounce school. I don't agree with neither one. Period. Point blank. Okay. I'm an in, I'm, I belong to the indigenous race. I am a natural being. I'm a sovereign man. That means I'm independent, self-sufficient. Don't need. I don't need none of this to survive. I took, I'm a very good camper. I'm a very good camper. I know how to camp. It's not hard. It's not hard. But if you don't know a damn thing, it's hard. <laughs> you understand? If you don't know a damn thing, it's hard. But. All right, beloved, that's the bottom of it. That's the bottom of it. I'm going to jump back on this live again. Man, I appreciate the people being in the room today. You dig? Okay. Okay. So, as I told you, we are, we belong, we are the indigenous race. We don't belong to a religion. We don't belong to an institute. You understand what I'm saying? We don't belong to an institute. We are indigenous. We belong to the indigenous race. Our religion is nature. All day long. Our religion is nature. You know, we live off the land. We live off grid. We live off the land. Not off grid. That's why I got these two specific magazines for a reason. It's living off the land. Camping is living off the land. Living off the land. We don't live off the system. So we are the indigenous race that are sovereign to this planet. Okay? Sovereign beings of this planet. And again, we don't belong to no, we're not a color. We don't belong to no colors. We are only, the only color we are, I told you, is, hold on, I got a picture for you. Let me put it up. This is it. The only two colors of the planet. That 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 beautiful God look like this. What I'm looking up at right now. Her eyes look like the stars. That beautiful God look like what I'm looking up at right now. When you look at me, you looking at a full grown tree. <laughs> you look at that tree, beloved. You know what I'm saying? The locks, the 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 the, the, the girt, the the muscle. You dig? That's that's a tree. Stern, firm, foot on solid ground, roots planted in the earth. All I know is earth. All I know is natural living. All I know is natural living. I share that with you to share with you what? To share with you that we are the indigenous race. You see there are only two colors. That's car carbon and copper. It's carbon and copper, beloved. That's it. But everything else, religion, education, they take your race away from you. They give you a different name, a different race. Education, they take they take your they take in religion they take your spirituality away from you, which thus takes away your identity. But we identify as indigenous people. We identify as indigenous. 
we identify as African, you know, culturally, but we identify as indigenous though. Okay? And therefore, we don't belong to a, a, a piece of land. We don't belong to it. All of it's ours. We don't belong to a piece of land. We're indigenous to the planet. We're indigenous beings to this planet. All of the land is ours. It's one land. It's all one land. It's ours. The whole planet has been given to us, the indigenous people. It's been given to us. It's all ours. So it's not just Africa. It's not just America. It's not just Central America. It's not South America. It's not Mexico. It's not. All of it's ours. All been given to us, the indigenous ones. Okay? And, and, and so this is our religion, nature, planet, planetarian. We are belong here. We belong here. And and, and, and then our education comes from what, beloved? Knowing how to stay here while here. Knowing how to stay here, knowing how to survive while you're here, knowing how to live while you're here, knowing how to eat while you're here, living off the land, knowing how to keep yourself independent of a government while you are here. Because this is the way, living off the land, that is the way to stay on this planet and survive on this planet on a physical realm. But more so, that's your education. Living off the land is your education. Living off the land is your education. Because you're a natural being and you belong to nature. And, and nature is your belief system. That's how you eat. That's how you live. That's it. Alright? I love you. I'm going to come back on. I'm going to go stop. Maybe I'm going to take this hot sweater off. I don't know. Uh... I'm going to jump back on here in about three, four minutes. I'm going to go take me a breather. You know what I'm saying? I might jump back on in about five more. Maybe, maybe. Meet me back here at about 10.55. So meet me back here at about 11.15. Meet me back here at 11.15, beloved. 11.15. Meet me back here. Okay? Yeah, earth ships. I know about those homes where they use recyclable materials. Absolutely, I know all about it. And uh, carbon and copper, that's right. We're only carbon and copper. Carbon and copper is the only two uh, colors of this planet. People say I'm black, people say I'm white, people say I'm this, people say I'm that. No, look around you. Look around. What colors do you see? Okay. When you turn the lights back on, when you shut the lights off, shut the lights off, every human being go away, cut the lights back on, open your eyes, what color do you see? I see brown everywhere. Copper. Shut the lights off. Look up in the sky. What do you see? I see carbon everywhere. Oh, that's us. Okay? Cool. I love you. I love me. I love us. I'm coming back on. 1115. Uh, we got some more talking to do. One more live. I'm going to do another live. I got the energy today. And uh, I just broke down to y'all the uh, I just broke down to y'all the seven pillars or the seven ways the seven cult traps the seven cult traps of America of the world of this society we living in uh, just to run through them real quick and I'm out that is religion government economics social media education and entertainment or I like to say entertainment entertainment and so. Those are your seven cult tracks. The two arts I preached on tonight is education and religion. Why? Because it takes away beliefs. It takes away ideal. It takes away identity. It takes away your reality. It takes away your sense of knowledge of self. And then education takes away your mind. Okay? All right. So we got to fight to get that back. We fight through sovereignty. We preach that. We bang on that all day long. We are sovereign, 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 sovereign play the video and then I'm gonna be I'm gonna play the video for y'all to see that's gonna be my ending I love you I love me I love us be well be loving be light beloved I'm not gonna say that again because I'm gonna let the video end when the video when I play the video in the ends 
That's when I stop. I'm not gonna come back and say another word. Okay? Peace. Before we talk about our vision, we have to take ourselves outside of the vision we're, we're already yes. in. Can you explain? That? Yes, absolutely. I just believe that it, we're, we're supposed to be like everybody, again. Everybody that said something up here was what I agree with. So we have to understand the word sovereignty, and, and we just experienced Juneteenth, right? This emancipation, some type of freedom, but we're skipping over the main thing because we're stuck inside of a vision of the. Let me just classify it as it is. We're stuck inside of a Eurocentric mindset. You understand? And so now we have to have sovereignty, which means we have to come together and say, what are we actually fighting to get? So they created sovereignty by land, laws, and language. So how, why, are, why aren't we fighting to have something similar? Why aren't we fighting to get land? Why aren't we? I understand success is a good thing to have. Success financially is a good thing to have. They said, we don't need money. Everything doesn't take money. Or they say, um, you don't have to have money for everything, but everything takes money. So we understand that finance is money is a part of that spectrum. We have to use the the system, the currency that they give us. But even still using that currency, we can create a freedom of sovereignty for ourselves. We can create independence. This is what sovereignty means, to not be codependent on someone else. So when we use, what we can do is we can use their currency, we can create freedom through our land, grow and cultivate our minds, our people, our own food. We don't need money to survive in the system once we have the mindset of sovereignty. Once we go back to what my man said, our cultural ways. That's how we got to get back. That's how. That's a vision. And that's what I see for us. I've been working on doing that since for years. So, and, and my brother here, Polite, all of us, our minds are there. But we have to really get out of this mindset, their mind. We're in their mind right now. And the only way we get free is when we come into our minds. Thank you. Appreciate y'all. Thanks, Ed.